In Microsoft Project, you can assign work resources to detailed tasks. Work resources are the default resource type when creating resources. And when you assign a work resource to a task, it is the amount of work estimated multiplied times the hourly rate of that work resource that determines the cost of doing the work. So in this case, we have a business analyst assigned to the task high-level project plan and that has a work estimate of 40 hours. With a work estimate of 40 hours, that work is multiplied times the hourly rate to come up with the cost to complete that task. I'm going to change the view to the resource sheet. In the resource sheet, I can see a list of my work resources and their current standard rate. Today, we're going to talk about cost resources which is a second type of resource that can be added to your plan to help you estimate the total cost of doing a project. An example of a cost resource would be keeping track of costs such as hardware and software. When I add a resource directly into my plan, it's considered a local resource. I can change the, the type of resource to a cost resource in both cases. I can also put in an abbreviation under the initials column, but the other fields such as maximum availability, standard rate, overtime rate, cost per use, none of those are relevant. If I were to try typing something into these columns, Microsoft Project would not allow me to because a cost resource doesn't accumulate the cost based on an hourly rate or any rate that's related to time. If you're working in a server environment, you can add your resources, whether they're work or cost resources, from the list of resources that have been created on the server. On my server environment, I've got work resources and cost resources. So I'm going to group my list of resources by type. So I'll see all of the cost resources at the top of the list. On the server, I've got a couple samples that are similar to what I just created locally. I've got hardware, software, and I have training. I'm going to add training since I haven't already created that cost resource. I'm also going to add a cost resource called project budget. and I'm going to talk a little bit about how that one is different from the other cost resources I've created so far. So once I've added my additional resources, I can click OK and I'll see the two additional cost resources added to my resource sheet. Notice training is a cost resource and if I were to double click this there are attributes I cannot change about this resource because it was created by my administrator on the server. There is a field labeled budget which is toggled off. So this particular cost resource is just like the other two cost resources I created locally, hardware and software. Whereas the project budget cost resource, the budget field is toggled on, meaning this particular cost resource is a budget cost resource. And a budget cost resource is assigned differently within the project than our other cost resources. Now that we've learned how to create cost resources and add cost resources from the server, I'm going to switch back to the Gantt view that we were working in earlier. I'll select a task and call up my Assign Resource dialog from the Resource ribbon. This particular task, High Level Project Plan, requires a software license in Microsoft Project and some training. So I'm going to assign both cost resources. When you assign a cost resource, you put in an estimate as to how much you think the cost will be for that particular assignment. Each and every time you assign a cost resource, you could have a different cost amount unlike a work resource where it's a standard rate associated with time. So the business analyst is assigned to this task at 100%. There's a standard rate that's applied to the number of hours the business analyst will work on that activity. So I'm going to put an estimate on software of 800 and training at 1,000. Then I'll close my assign resource dialog. Now if I wanted to see a more detailed summary of my cost data, I can switch over to a view that gives me assignment data 
by task. I've created a custom view called Task Costs. This custom view gives me the name of the task, and because it's based off the task usage view, it shows me the detailed assignments as to who's working on that task. Here I can see a breakdown of my costs per resource. My business analyst, software, and training. And then a roll-up is showing me that the total cost for this task is 5875 There was one cost resource that we added which had the budget field toggled on. A budget cost resource can only be assigned to the top level task in row 0. So I'm going to select row 0, click assign resource, and locate my project budget and click assign. So I've closed my assign resource dialog box and I've got a special field called the budget cost. And the budget cost is where I can put in my total budget for the entire project. So if my total budget for the entire project is 50000 I'll go ahead and enter that into the project budget assignment and I can see it rolls up to row 0 and shows me my budget of 50000 My current scheduled costs, which is the sum of all my work and detailed cost assignments, adds up to 48900 So you see how the project budget resource allows me to have a target that I can compare as my costs are accumulating within my project. So we've learned how to create cost resources, add cost resources off the server, and then assign cost resources to detailed tasks. And if it's a budget cost resource, we can assign them to row zero. I hope you've learned something new about using cost resources in Microsoft Project 2010.